Now, away from the markets, a big story in Asia is in Indonesia. A rescue operation is underway on the Indonesian island of Java. At least 44 people were killed after an earthquake that struck yesterday. Some were buried in landslides, others trapped in collapsed buildings. Valerie Khan has been following that story and she joins us now. Val, it was a huge tremor, wasn't it? Yes, that's right, Haslinda. Very often when an earthquake like that hits Indonesia, tremors will be felt here in Singapore by the authorities I spoke to say there are no such reports so far. But the earthquake happened at West Java, the biggest island in Indonesia and the most populated area. It measured 7.0 on the Richter scale and its epicenter is located in 50, uh, 50 kilometers under the ocean. One tsunami warning was sent out and then called off, but the national Indonesian National News Agency has said that other than the rising death toll, a one meter high tsunami was also reported off the west coast of West Java. No news yet whether anyone has been affected there. But at the worst hit areas, especially in the cities and villages, rescuers are recovering more and more dead bodies from landslides and collapsed buildings. And the death toll is likely to go up as the quake hit the most populated, populated area in Indonesia. People evacuated from shopping centers, offices, as the quake took place right in the middle of a workday. Some 700 buildings, including homes, mosques, and a university, have either been badly damaged or collapsed. Even the capital of Jakarta was not spared, as hundreds of people ran out from shaken bu buildings into the streets. The worst reported so far was in a village where some 30 people are still trapped at a landslide. I was working, checking some stuff in office when I felt the tremor. I immediately got out of the building because this is very rare. I knew it was earthquake. Well, the survivors are also no, not better off. Power has been cut in several towns and villages. At least one power plant has been knocked offline. The hospitals are quickly filling up with scores of casualties, even though it lasted only a minute. The tremors and the earthquake, the tremors from the earthquake, were reportedly felt by people as far as in Bali. And I'll be tracking more of the aftermath and giving you more updates as they come in. Has? Val, thanks so much for. The